Hi kiddos, welcome back. Today we are going to read the last story out of our superhero book. All right, let's do the parts of our book. Ready? The front cover, the back cover, the spine, the title, which is Justice League, meet the Justice League, and then the author and illustrator. All right, let's get started reading. Meet the Justice League. Today, Clark Kent was going to interview the police chief of Metropolis. But when Clark went to the station, he knew something was wrong. All of the cops were standing still. No one moved an inch. A cop looked at Clark with a blank, strange stare. That's weird, huh? I know that look, said Clark. He turned the cop around. There was a small starfish stuck to the back of his neck. Clark checked all the cops. Everyone had a starfish. Starro, he cried. Clark knew he had to act. This looks like a job for Superman. Superman had faced Starro before. The evil alien starfish could take over anyone's mind. He was a powerful enemy. And this time, Starro had even more people under control. Superman needed help. He called his friends Batman and Wonder Woman. But Starro had struck their cities too. Uh-oh. That's a lot of people. Starro cloned himself and sent his legion to destroy our city, said Batman. To stop him, we'll need help. Wonder Woman just knew just who to call. A few minutes later, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman were together with some new friends. The Flash could run faster than anyone on Earth. Aquaman had the power to swim deep into the ocean without ever getting tired. Martian Manhunter could read people's thoughts. And with his power ring, Green Lantern could create anything he could imagine. This is a big job, said Superman. We must defeat the clones. Then we have to find Starro and stop him for good. The superheroes agreed to split up into teams. Superman and the Flash zoomed back to Metropolis. The brainwashed cops were all over the city. I'll round them all up, said the Flash. Be back in a second. In the blink of an eye, the Flash returned with all the officers together. Superman breathed in deeply. One by one, he froze the starfish with icy breath. The Flash circled around and gathered the frozen clones. That was quick. The two speedy superheroes laughed together. The Flash and Superman raced to Gotham City. Batman had found all the clones with his bat computer. Between the Flash's speed, Superman's free freeze of breath, and Batman's combat skills, they had the clones collected in no time. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., Green Lantern had used his power ring to find and gather the cops. Wonder Woman snared one in her lasso of truth. Tell me where Starro is, Wonder Woman said. He's in the depths of the sea, said the officer. We'll see about that, said Wonder Woman. Martian Manhunter, do you copy, she said in her mind. Got it, said Martian Manhunter. He and Wonder Woman had linked minds. Time to hit the beach, the alien hero told Aquaman. Martian Manhunter sent the rest of the superheroes a mental message. They all met at the edge of the ocean. Aquaman dived into the water. He swam as fast as a shark. 
There in the murky depths of the ocean, he found the vile starfish. Aquaman grabbed Starro by, the, by an arm and pulled him up. Green Lantern used his ring to help lift Starro out of the ocean. Superman froze the villain with his icy breath. Time to get rid of this pest, said Martian Manhunter. He and Superman grabbed Starro and the clones and flew them out flew them into outer space. Superman used his super breath to scatter the starfish all over the galaxy. Back on Earth, the superheroes celebrated. Nothing like teamwork to keep the planet safe, said Batman. Alright guys, that is the end of this book. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!